So the first thing we need to do is to enable the grid. So go to view, then go to show grid, then go to view again and snap to grid. Then pick the ellipse tool, go to one of these crosshairs right here, hold down the shift key and create a circle that is 5 by 5 squares. Now select the zoom tool and zoom in on this part of the circle. Then select the ellipse tool again, go to one of these crosshairs again, hold down the shift key and this time draw a circle that is 1.5 by 1.5 square. Now pick the selection tool, select both circles, select the fill of the circles and disable the fill. This makes it easier to see what we are doing. Now select a small circle, move the circle to the middle of these two lines, like this and move it down like this, so the circles overlap by three small squares. Now we can zoom out, and while having this small circle selected, pick the rotate tool, hold down the alt key to get these small dots next to the cursor, and click one time in the middle of the big circle. Then type in 45 degrees and click copy. And to duplicate this step, simply click ctrl D. Duplicate the step until you have circles all the way around the big circle. Now pick the selection tool again, pick this circle right here, hold down the ALT key to duplicate and drag a duplication into the middle of the big circle. Now select all the shapes, select the shape builder tool and click one time on this shape right here. Pick the selection tool again, deselect the shapes and select this shape right here. You can drag this shape to the side and delete the rest of the shapes. And now we want to refine this shape a little bit. So let's zoom into this part right here. And if you like these sharp corners right here, you're good to go right now. But if you want a little bit more refined look, we can easily round these corners off a bit simply by selecting the shape again, make the stroke a little bit wider, go to the stroke menu and select round join. This creates a more round look to these corners right here. And to bake this effect into the shape, we need to select the fill, give the fill a color again. Then while still having the cog wheel selected, we can now go to object, go to expand, make sure fill and stroke is selected and click OK. After that, go to the pathfinder panel. If it isn't open, you can go to window and find the pathfinder panel right here. Then click this button right here that says unite. And here we have a perfect cogwheel. wheel.